David Kent here with another question from the Ivy Question Bank on topic 12.1. We're going to be looking at the photoelectric effect. We have light incident on a clean metal surface in a vacuum, and we're measuring the maximum kinetic energy of the electrons that are ejected from the surface for different frequencies of incident light. So we see a graph of the results here. Kinetic energy of the electrons on the y-axis, frequency of the light hitting the metal on the x-axis. So we're talking about the photoelectric effect. First we want to draw a best fit line for the plot of data points. Uh, so looking at the data points, I see what appears to be a straight line. So I'm going to want to use the ruler. And draw a line as best I can through the data. Now I've drawn my line so that it extends all the way to the axis intercept and past the data because uh, I might have to interpolate or extrapolate the data at some point. Um, I'm pretty happy with that line that goes through most of the data. We have some data above the line, some data below the line. I think we'll go with that one. Now it says to use the graph to determine the Planck constant. Uh, to do that we need to understand Einstein's model of the photoelectric effect which says that the energy input into the system is coming from the energy of a photon. And it goes to two places. It goes to the work function of the surface. This is the energy required to release an electron from the atoms in the surface. And whatever's left over is the kinetic energy of that electron. Now we know the energy of a photon is hf, and the work function is h times that minimum frequency x f naught. The last thing I'm going to do is rearrange this equation. Solve for kinetic energy of the electron. And we get what appears to be a linear equation. We have our y variable, our x variable, and h naught is going to be the slope. Uh, okay, so f h is what we wanted, the slope. So we need to get the slope of this line. Anytime I want to get a slope of a straight line, I want to use the largest triangle possible. So I'm going to start all the way at the bottom where I intersect this nice clear part of the grid. And I'll go all the way up to the furthest part where I get a nice clear intersection. It's going to be about right there. And I'll try to find the slope from this huge triangle. Always big triangles. The bigger the triangle, the smaller the effective leading error on your answer. So I'm going to need to know these coordinates. Uh, here we have 7.5, 7.6, 7.7. times 10 to the 14, and 1 1.5, 1 1.6, 1 1.7, 1 1.8, 1 1.9, times 10 to the negative 19. Then down on the other end we have 4.8, times 10 to the 14, and 0 for the kinetic energy. So I'll combine these values uh, to get the slope. So the slope is equal to Planck constant, and that's rise. So that's 1.980 times 10 to the negative 19 over run 7.7 takes 4.8 times 10 to the negative 19. And I think that gets us oh, around about 2.4 times 10 to the negative 34. Uh, the units would come from the slope. On the y-axis we have joules. Along the x-axis we have hertz. So that's joules per hertz, which is a fine answer. Or we could say this is 6.4 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds.
because a hertz is a one on second. So one on hertz is a one on one on second. Cancels out. So we get dual seconds. The next question asks, for the minimum energy required to eject an electron from the surface of a metal, it gives us a hint. It says that's the work function. So going back to Einstein's model of the photoelectric effect and our manipulation of it, we're looking for this term. That's the work function. Now notice that when the kinetic energy is zero, that can only happen when these two terms are equal. And that only happens when the frequency is the threshold frequency. So going back to the graph up here, at this point right here, the frequency is the threshold frequency because we get no kinetic energy. So we can say right off the bat that the threshold frequency is 4.8 times 10 to the negative 14 hertz. That's just the value for the frequency right here. Which means that the work function is h f naught, or what we found before. 6.4 times 10 to the negative 34 times 4.8 times 10 to the negative 14. And that gets us about 3.1 times 10 to the negative 19 Julie. The last question, Part C, explain briefly how Einstein's photoelectric theory accounts for the fact that no electrons are emitted from the surface of the metal if the frequency of instant light is less than a certain value. That's the threshold frequency. So in Einstein's model of the photoelectric effect, we know that photons, oh sorry, light, are made, is made of photons. So light is made of particles called photons. And we know the energy of those photons. So the energy is equal to Planck's constant. You always want to be careful about using symbols in, in worded answers. So rather than say H, we want to say Planck's constant times multiplied by the frequency of the photon. And we see that the energy of the photon is limited by the frequency of the photon only because Planck's constant is a, cl is a constant, which means if the energy, or if the frequency, of the photon is too low, it won't have enough energy to free an electron. from the atoms on the surface. So recapping that answer, in Einstein's model of the photoelectric theory, light is made of particles called photons. Those photons have an energy which is determined only by their frequency. So if the frequency is lower, their energy is lower, and if their energy is too low, it's not enough energy to pull an electron away from the surface.